hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times with Skyr here, and welcome back to the wonderful worlds of Hermits and Crafting. We're standing on Larry's porch here, looking down at our little cow pen there. So we finally have some better food than our bread. I wish we could make advanced foods in vanilla Minecraft, right? You get some bread, you get some beef, you got yourself a beef sandwich. How amazing does that sound? <laughs> anyway, also I cleaned up our little waterfront here, just added some more plant life things along those lines. I do want to add ourselves a little dock here because we do take the boat quite frequently to our brand new mine just over there in the dark woods. If that isn't the cutest snail you've ever seen, I don't know what is. I do love this dark woods themed area we have back here. I want to put some more kind of mysterious things in this area, but for now we have our diamond challenge mine themed to an ancient and sacred Dorvan mine area. And of course they have their god of luck overlooking the mine as the dwarves head through the Jurassic Park style gates into their mine. and. This thing is looking pretty cool, right? Lots of fun little details to be had everywhere. Minecarts zipping about. And of course, we have more up in the ceiling there looking super fancy. We do not have the redstone in this wall yet to count the diamonds yet. Hopefully, that will come soon. I'm also in the process of uh, cleaning up a creeper hole. <laughs> but anyway, I've done a little bit of mining down there on stream. We actually came out with quite a few diamonds and also quite a bit of shenanigans. Wow, I really butchered the word shenanigans there, but quite a bit of shenanigans took place on stream. So if you're not following me on Twitch, make sure you do because we have a ton of fun. I died like, I don't know, six times on stream. Graham was supposed to be my protector and savior, but I think he enjoyed more w watching me die. But in the end, he gave me this amazing pickaxe, which has made mining a breeze. And I thank him so much for that. Another thing that we did in our last episode was starting the process of opening our shops. We're gonna have our chest monster shop where we're gonna sell barrels, chests, and shulker boxes eventually, but that's gonna take a little bit to get that infrastructure in place. So in the meantime, we're selling magical crystals. <laughs> yes, we are. And I wanna take it up a notch today because they are flying off the shelves as of our last episode. And we are going to make certificates of authenticity for each and every one of them that we sell for our pocketable magical crystals. But in our episode today, we're still working under Operation Uncle Thunder isn't just about getting diamonds. It is also about dying less. And one of our ways of dying less I think will help is better transportation throughout the world. Also, good guy Grian gave me an ender chest. Look at it. Look at how beautiful that thing is. <laughs> anyway, um, so we're going to not only get our elytra and wings, but we're going to make a proper nether portal that isn't just stacked up obsidian. No, we're going to theme it and make it look absolutely beautiful. I just have to find a place to put it because it's going to be amazing. So here's the plan. Before we head off on any great adventure to get wings so we can soar through the world, we need to get some enchants to be a little bit more protected on our operation into the end. So I brought some cows over to get leather, of course, so we can then make our bookcases surround that around an enchanting table and then we need to get feather falling and we need to get silk touch silk touch of course so we can have our portable ender chest and the feather falling for obvious reasons in the end so let's make that happen as a wizard i feel quite at home in front of this magical book here and we've had some success some not in our enchanting endeavors just enchanted this pair of boots and didn't get feather following that is a goal not going to the end without it got a pretty lackluster bow so might try again on that but we did get silk touch we can now have mobile ender chest which is kind of amazing i've been getting xp by breeding and slaughtering the cows here cooking down cobblestone and meat in the furnaces but green said that i could use his xp farm so Let's see if that will work a little better. You'd think enchanting would be easier on a wizard. I mean, I've got the beard, like, come on. <laughs> I have been chopping away one after another, those zombies. I did get an Aquafinity book, so that's kind of cool, but still no feather falling, which is very frustrating. But while I've been doing this chopping on these zombies, I've been doing a little drawing. So I came up with kind of what we're going to do today, this cursed Stonehenge design, as you can see from this drawing. And also, here is my drawing from last episode for the mine. I hadn't shown that to you guys yet. I've been trying to draw all of my builds just to get better at drawing, but I'm so bad at drawing, I'm super embarrassed to show it to you, but I'm also using it as incentive to try to get better. So yeah, 
I'm gonna continue to chop away. We got it. <laughs> we finally got feather falling. This is amazing. Oh, I am so happy. We're nearly ready to roll, my friends. We've got ourselves a pretty good supply of equipment to take to the end to get ourselves an elytra and start the process of getting our shulker boxes ready for our shop. And of course, we've got some scaffolding material. We're going all out with the golden carrots. Got an emergency apple, have some water. I was breeding the cows. I'm not gonna bring the wheat with me. And of course, we've got some health booth crystals and some lucky crystals. And this bow is rocking. I'm very pleased with that. The armor is not great, but it's the best that I could do for now. So I think that will work. The last thing we need to do is make ourselves some rockets and I did do a little creeper hunting and I think we should be able to make a pretty decent stack of rockets. The only thing left we need for our adventure is ender pearls and I've had a heck of a time getting ender pearls so that is our next priority. I've got everything we need for our trip to the end now part of Operation Aqua Thunder and of course we're not dying. No we're gonna get those wings and it's gonna be amazing. Oh, by the way, I found a water trampoline, which is super, super fun. We're outside of our neighbor Grian, sometimes known as the jungler's house, and we're gonna go to the end together. Scar, are you ready to hit the end for all of its wings? I am very excited about the wings. And to make this trip successful, prepare for you some magic crystals. Some glass? Well, I mean, no, they're, they're magic. So it'll help you with health, it'll give you luck. Health, yeah. health boost magic crystal. See mm -hmm. here, it says it says here Minecraft colon red stained glass and lime stained glass. Do you want to see some real magic? That is real magic. No, no, do you want to see some real magic? Well, that is real magic, but I'm interested in your own. Okay, okay, look me, look me dead in the eyes. Okay. Dead in the eyes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Press F1 for me. Okay, uh-huh. You pressed it? Yeah. <gasps> oh, whoa, 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 what in the world? <laughs> Wait. You just logged in. <laughs> you just you tricked me. You literally tricked me. What the heck? Oh. Dude, I need to go stand on my water trampoline for a minute after that. What in the world? Oh. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready for the trip. Now that now that I got you. I'm ready for our trip. I've got some rockets for when we got wings. I got some paper. Oh, you're a I forgot about this. And here's bit. me bringing presents over here and you're tricking a man. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, I need to know. I need to know. Is yeah. this, is it, am I just crazy or you see an arrow too, right? Yes. It, it has okay. to be magic. I mean, this whole it's, area. This is, is real magic. magic. This is, this is some, this is some magic right here. I am really magic. Not yeah, crazy. okay, Have you cool. seen this beard? You know. This beard would not just grow like this, just out of nowhere without any magical intervention. <laughs> Let's go. All right, portal this way. Portal, here we go. Are you ready? Pumpkins on. Hold on. Oh, I can't see you right in my blind spot. You know I should look better like this. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna keep it on my hotbar and I'm gonna use it if I have to use it because it's <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna what? be terrible. Oh, wait for me, <gasps> dude! I'm oh, in I lava. Can't see anything. What in the world? Am I falling? Dude, I'm in lava right now. Oh, no, no, don't, no, don't push me off the edge. I'm so sorry, man, but I, I was in lava. And then I wasn't. Yeah, it looks, yeah, I'm looking him dead. I'm, I see you. Oh my goodness, that's terrifying. But it's so hard to see. <laughs> yeah, I know it's hard to see. We need to make a safe box. How do you make ender, enderman proof boxes? We could go in this water over here. Is that, oh, yeah, 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 you're right, you're yeah. right, you're and right. And I guess maybe take it off for a minute and let them come yeah. in. Yeah, oh, oh, I can see. Yeah, here they come, here they come. <laughs> there they are. Maybe do like one at a time. Dude, there's, there's, a, there's, uh, somebody set up a farm over there. No way. Yeah, look, it's like, it's got like a little ladder. No it's got like, it's like a little oh, Enderman sandwich. Come on. <laughs> Oh, ridiculous. Okay, I think I think there's none that's after me at the moment. Oh, no, no, I lied! I'm bringing in one more. I've got four ender pearls. You got four? I got ten. Oh, well, you know, I had a cat in front of my monitor. It was making it really hard. Can Dude, you we, stop we, looking we, at them now? We've survived pretty long at this point. <laughs> Is this more than your regular? <laughs> Okay, let's finish these two off, and then I think we're gonna be good. Okay, one more coming in, one more coming in. Okay, so 
sweet. Okay, I got eight. I'm, I'm good. Right, I'm just gonna do an Enderman chest test. Okay, we're not being attacked. How do we get out of here? I'm Take getting hit. Car. I'm getting hit. I'm running for the water. Oh, I did not look at him. You know, if everyone's already been to the end, the chances we're gonna find an unlooted end city, pretty slim. Okay, got him. Okay. Oh, wait. Okay, ho hold on. Tell me how this works here. I thought when you defeated the dragon, you got all of the little portals open. Yeah, me too. Apparently, it's just this one. I made it in. Try to go in the opposite direction? Yeah, so I think that's a good call. We just go the way that no one else did. This is this is going to be a little bit more tricky than, than I thought, if this is the yes. case. Yes. Scott, I did the last one. You do it this time. I'm scared. <laughs> just... just go we gotta we gotta keep going this okay is ridiculous we have we've made a lot of bridges we've, we've traveled also a very far distance and we have no luck yet my fingers are kind of sweaty by the way Scott. yes oh she's oh my god <laughs> no 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 no, no. Oh, no. You know, I, I'm a magic man, but I'm not that magic. Do you ever just get the tingle to let go of shift, even though you know you're gonna yeah, die? Yeah, no, it's just like, please, pinky finger, don't <laughs> give up on me now. It's so slippery, man. I feel like Samuel Jackson in uh, Jurassic Park when he was doing the coding. He was all sweaty. He was drinking the coffee. Ah, oh, this is scary. So the plan is, yes. we find one elytra, mm -hmm. and then that person will then take the elytra and fly to the next end city and bring back the second elytra. <laughs> I, I really like that thought process. I really do. Tell me tell me we're at least halfway there. We're at least halfway there. Do you have your lucky crystal on you? Uh, yeah. Thank God. I, you know. No! No! <laughs> no! Dude, that was magic, man. That's where the fortune of silver and gold. You, 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 you brought bad luck upon us? No, no, no. We'll be fine. What could possibly go wrong? Just hold at least hold the, the health one. My gosh. Okay. Man. No! <laughs> That's magic! <laughs> People will pay diamonds for those things. Cub had an out-of-body experience with his. Keep bridging. I'm doing the best I can. Land ahoy. Dude, we don't have seagulls. We have Endermen. I can hear them. My oh. finger is so sweaty. Play it safe, play it safe, play it safe. I'm going all Ever the way. Run. I'm never ending. <laughs> I'm too scared. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh. And we continue the eternal quest through the end. We're still is this the one? Chance. Is this the one for the Shulkers galore? And Enrons. I love it. Is there a boat? <gasps> no, I see is it. I see it. There is. There's a ladder. There's a boat? In a mass. How are we gonna get over there? <laughs> oh man. Oh look, we found the um the border. That's how far we've gone, guys. We, that yeah, is how we've hit the border. <laughs> Do you want to get the elytra? I'll start working on the. I mean, uh, I mean um, you know, I'm, I'm on my way. I'm and on I'll my way. start working on the uh, end rods because that's what we're really here for. Oh, no. Oh, forgot about that. Why are you hovering? Yep. <laughs> Somehow a shulker hit me. Oh, the shulkers. I forgot about those things. You got a bow, right, man? Mm, sure. I, I also may have forgotten a shield that I realized halfway through the one of the bridges that we made. <laughs> We did it. Nice. We did it. We got we got the city at the end of the game. <laughs> did we win Minecraft? I think we just won Minecraft. We didn't even kill the dragon. All right, dudes. It's been a good season seven. In the time it's taken you to, to look around for a new end portal, I have gone back to base and enchanted this elytra with unbreaking and mending. Um, so, do you know what? I'm gonna fly ahead, I'm gonna find you an elytra, and I'm gonna bring one back. That little nod there looks so good. <laughs> that little nod was so real. <laughs> my, my fingers hurt, I've got calluses, I've... Uh, my shoes, I, I'm sweaty, the whole thing. It's been it's rough. okay, Scar. I will protect you at any cost. C do you have rockets, though? I need, I need to make sure that I'm... I can make it. Yeah, hold on, let me, let me get you what you need here. There you go. Oh, come on, I just got rid of these. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they're magic. They're limited. I'm not the most conservative man with rockets, but I'll do my best. All right. All right. Uh, which way Which way did we go last? We went south, so I'm going to fly north. Wish me luck. And you can do that? 
You can just fly into the void like that? Yeah, you know. Okay. Come on, Goodbye. Got my luck, Crystal. Scott, I found it. I got it. <laughs> I got the one. I got the thing. I got the the doodad. All right. I'm coming back for you, dude. Zero, zero, man. I'm waiting. I'm zero, waiting zero. here. I'm here. You're clear I'm to land. Coming. You're clear. Uh, <laughs> Don't die. What what happened? No, you didn't go off the edge, did you? No, no, no. <laughs> it's been so long. I want the feel of the wind beneath my sky, wings. Scar, 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 Scar. I landed it. I landed in the end portal. Go, go in the portal. I mean, oh, yeah. I'm clutching the heart. I'm clutching here. I'm clutching. Okay, hold on. I beat Minecraft. Hello. Hello. Hi. We're back home. That was like a feverish dream, by the way. That was the weirdest dream. Here you go. One ah, elytra. Thank you. And a stack of rockets. We did it. Have you seen my door, by the way? I lost it. No. <sighs> Someone take it. I, I feel like there's a door bandit amongst us. Dude, are you ready to watch me fly for the first time this season? Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Pumpkin bros! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this feels this feels amazing. That may have been a very long and tedious trip to the end, but it was very successful because we didn't die. And most importantly, we had a good time. And also we got an Elytra. And Grant dropped over a mending book because I gave him my unbreaking book so he could go and use it with the Elytra. So it worked out really well. So it is now time to move into phase two of our operation. And that's bringing transportation to our lives. We have, of course, the Elytra. Now it is time to make an end portal. Not an end portal. I have end on my mind. No, another portal that will get us around a little bit more efficiently. And I'd like to really make this beautiful, something different. So we need to play where to build. <laughs> I hate this game because it takes me forever. So that is one location up on that hillside. Maybe we could do a little terraforming around it or back in the dark forest over here. It might kind of fit the whole persona of being ever so mysterious. So... Let me think about it. Where shall we build? After flying all around, I have finally determined the best location for our cursed nether portal temple is going to be right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to terraform this area up so we have a little bit more room to work with. And we're going to build the temple right here. And it's going to tie into the mines that we can see just through the bamboo there. And it's going to be amazing. I am very excited about this. And I think this will mark our first terraforming of season seven. So my friends, let's hit super fast build mode. build mode and we've got ourselves a pretty good little spot to start building on but until we do that we've got a jungle emergency here over by larry you could probably already guess what this jungle emergency is <laughs> it's meaty bears that is right you can see them right over there there's two of them two of them lurking in the perimeter i built up this bamboo across here keeping them away and now they're trying to work themselves through it probably shouldn't have built something that they enjoy to eat and they could get through can they actually eat it and knock it down? I don't know, but if they did, that would be terrifying with those big fluffy paws. But anyway, we are here in our new land and I am quite excited about this. This nether portal will be themed towards Stonehenge with some inspiration I got from the Star Wars Rebel TV show and a Sith temple they visited on the show. So we're kind of combine the two of those together, which I think is going to be quite amazing. So... This is kind of what I've been working out. Some of these big little towers that are going to stick up on either end. We're going to incorporate some crystals. 
magic crystals that is and i think it'll all come together really nice and for the terraforming of the area i left this one piece of bamboo here because we're gonna make dead bamboo that is right dead bamboo for this area because after all it is cursed and corrupted so we're gonna need a whole bunch of resources to make this dream become a reality so once again my friends let's hit super fast build mode bring in the crystals and the pillars and we'll soon be traveling in style super fast build mode and we're not standing out in front of our brand new build no we're here at larry because there is a door thief in our midst that's right i've now lost two doors <laughs> and i don't know where they keep going i mean it could be that i'm just careless and i break them or a zombie but i'm having some of my suspicions that there might be another bed bandit amongst us potentially a door bandit so we'll keep a weather eye open here. But look at our amazing portal design that we have created here. I think this is really fun and unique. So it's kind of a combination of Stonehenge with a mixture of some dark sorcery, of course. And yeah, I'm really loving this thing. It even has crystals up in the pedestals that's powering the design. And it's sending these little purple waves that meet the portal and open it up and sends you to the underworld. So yeah, I'm absolutely loving it. Down below, you can see the fog effect is not at its full potential yet, but unfortunately, I just do not have enough resources to fully dig it all the way out yet. I mean, it's only episode four, so hopefully that is okay. Things that I want to improve here, I want to put a little bit of fire under here, similar to what we did at the volcano. And also, we want to start building up the landscape over here by getting the dead bamboo and different things like that, because I really want this to be kind of surrounded by a deep jungle. And it's just kind of this weird little black spot in the jungle where a little bit of dark magic has taken place. So yeah, very, very pleased with this. And uh, yeah, we need to get some greenery. We need to get some fire. And this thing is going to look super amazing. We did it. This was an incredibly successful episode. We've got ourselves our wings that we are going to soar through the world with. And we now have our nether portal set up and ready to go. Now I'm not gonna light it yet because I need to hire the services of Impulse to get it all set up in the nether for us. So we'll visit the shopping district and place an order for the bedrock breaking service because we're actually gonna put our end portals or our nether portals that is above the roof of the nether. So he breaks the bedrock and we go up there and it'll all be set up really nicely. So we're gonna get that done in our next episode. And I don't wanna interfere yet with Grian's portal so we can get that all coordinated. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with this. There's definitely gonna be a whole bunch more that we're gonna add to this eventually, but we got a really, really good start of this. We'll finish the rest of this up on our live stream days. And in our next episode, my friends, we are going to start making a gunpowder farm. But there we are, my friends. Until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar, and I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the videos. And if you believe the videos are already, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to subscribe, because you may just become scarred for life. <laughs>